down, yeah, you straight shit it. Who held me down, bitch, and my gang did it. Now you busting up spots like who gang did it. Forms and VIP gang in it. My new girl saying I'm toxic, I'm back to the breach, and I'm getting up now. Yeah. It's good. You already know it's slaughter in the house. To my right, we got. Jazz so dope. Feel me the big dope. One of the biggest. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest. Introduce yourself, bro, man. I don't got no Just got trouble naked, nigga. How y'all feeling? Got checking in with y'all today, man. This is I had I had to have jazz on my shit, and now I'm on his shit. This is black excellence in the making. That's a oh, fact. That's a fact. Oh, we ain't playing around. Let me see a lighter. Let me see a lighter. Who got the lighter? Oh, the lighter. Oh, lighter. I ain't gonna lie, all you hear, yo, all you hear is the fucking traffic outside, my nigga, like this. So. No, 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 don't nobody want to get stuck in, in, in New York City traffic, bro, especially crazy, now, man. Do you believe it took an hour and a half to get here? We live from Times Square, just in case y'all don't know. Yeah, live from Times Square. Times Square. The heroin, the heroin heads are still heroin headed right now. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you caught somebody on Lean Mode. Lean Mode 2000. <laughs> But the black boys done made it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? are getting that Christmas money up right now. That Christmas money looking real nice. We got them leaning in Times Square. Swear. Shorty was doped up, yeah, man. That shit's that. crazy. Yo, the lean was crazy. Oh, she was hitting in Times Square, man. son. Yo, yo, yo. In case y'all ain't never knew. She was going through Don't play with black people. Y'all watch me sit this shit together real quick, real quick. Real quick. But yo, y'all, you know, we was in. the first, we was the first inventors, man. That's a fact. Nigga, we the only inventors. White people just steal. Mm. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. But yo, are we talking about what we talking about? Yo, yo, facts. yo. Yo, y'all tuned into the first episode, you feel me, yes, of the sir. You Can't Say That podcast. Anybody ever told you you couldn't say something? You can say it now. And we might say it for you. I, I like that. I like that. Because a lot of times people are telling you what you cannot and what you can't say right now. Cancel culture at its finest, man. Can't say you. Just, everybody's scared to get banned off Twitter, Facebook, it's Instagram, TikTok. They control the market. Twitch. Can't say simp on Twitch. Like, even coolie stuff like that. Wow. I was about to say, if I had to break down to the handheld too, though, but you know what? That's not a problem. Nah, but I hate you, though, like. Yeah. Can't say anything nowadays. That's why this is necessary. Niggas are scared. I thought we had freedom of speech. Where the tissue at? Tissue. Oh. Nah, it's freedom of speech oh, yeah. where? Yeah, you this hey yo son, you wanna know some crazy, bro? Seen a Mexican two person tweaking on somebody, man. And they was like, yo, ain't this the land of the free? Ain't this a free country? Can't I do whatever I want? No. I'm like, yo, you are no. sadly mistaken, brother, man. As long as you don't talk about the Jews, you're good. <laughs> nah, it's such your shit that'll kick your mouth out fact. the building. If you talk about the Jews, they're going to put your money out the bank. You out of here. That's a fact, bro. I mean, like... Look right. at this. I mean, if you want to touch on the Kanye shit? Yo, oh. yo, yo, we going wherever we going. So, I mean, he, just, he, he went at the Jews. That was the segue, y'all. He went at the <laughs> Jews, and they, and they, and they, and they really... Shit. They really on his head right now, like his on his head. They took everything. They took everything. I'm talking about. They took that nigga money. The money. Yo, 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 yo. Boy. You, you, th you thought you was more. You thought you was powerful. Power is when a nigga is worth three billion dollars, and then they say something that you don't like, and then you turn that nigga worth well from three That's billion it. dollars. To, to 123 million. That, but he he got he probably in there about like 400 mil though. I think. Yo, bro, yo, bro. I, I heard that Adidas deal was 600 mil. Yo, how, many, how many how many millions make one billion? Uh, yeah. A bunch of billions. A thousand. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, so if I had three of those and now I got 123 million, what that's that a dramatic drop, man. Three niggas, nigga, cut your water. People commit suicide for that shit every day, man. You feel what I'm saying? What shit is crazy? Motherfuckers. Companies crash and then they jump straight off the motherfucking joint. Look at um, but what? Damn, somebody just did that shit the other day, man. Um, you know what company owner I'm talking about? His shit sunk. Nah. His shit went down. Oh, damn. Mark, he off this Nah, man. I got y'all, man. 
Nah, what the fuck? Nah, nah, son, son, um, company died out and then, um, he jumped out. He jumped off his building, man. Oh, yeah, in, in, in the city, like up the yeah. block, bro. Yo, rest up the in block. Peace. Rest in peace, my man from Golden Crust, bro. He took himself out too yeah, over facts. the place. Golden Crust definitely killed himself. That shit at home. I'm from Flatbush. Killed himself over. Word, that's a fact. <laughs> Flatbush. Flatbush. You know the vibes. I got y'all right now because I forgot boy name, man. He really jumped. I, I didn't even hear about this. Yeah. Oh, the did some for um. His name is um. Gustavo Arnell, he was the um Bed Bath and Beyond C A um yeah him. Oh, that's a lot CFO. of money to fuck up. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Niggas is done. He jumped over so son. See how they jazzy Jeff, my boy mm-hmm. though, are the Skechers man. <laughs> 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 jazzy Jeff, my boy man. Yo, you seen the uh, seen the uh, seen the interview that uh Kanye did with um with that skinny little yeah, white nigga, um, Pierce Morgan. Oh, with Pierce oh. Morgan. Let's talk about that. Because, yo, from what I heard in Drink Champs, he came in the room like, yo, if y'all don't do this, 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 I'm out. Or like, yo, I could be out in a minute. If I can't film, I can't do all this shit. Then he yeah. got on Then he got on with Pierce, and Pierce looked like he felt comfortable to do whatever the fuck he wanted. Well, he always he, do that. How you know he wasn't recording, he didn't tell Pierce the same shit, though. Because the only reason we know that about the Drink Champs episode is because Nori got on Hot 97 and told That's us. That's true, too. I don't like what he did, though. With Nori? Nori? He did bad. Yo, let's talk about it because a lot of niggas ain't valid and they got exposed with this Kanye shit. Like Nori, you know, I, he got other money at play with this shit. I wouldn't apologize. I yeah, wouldn't, that's I wouldn't I mean, apologize like, either. He I, took the episode down too. Yeah. I'm not apologizing for something I didn't say. You got me fucked up. I mean, that's a fact. That's how you can tell don't own their shit. And then, but look at look at what's so crazy though. Look at what's so crazy though. Nori took it down. Everybody want to come at Nori, but Piers Morgan kept it up. Nobody told Pierce to take his shit down. Nobody's telling Pierce to take shit down. Why you got to tell a black man that he got to take his that's shit a, down, but you can't tell a white about. man that? Yeah. And boy, and he and he was up there talking a lot, too. He was he talking was definitely... hot. He was talking hot. And then Kanye had to reload and come back with the other... Yo, yo, yo. He Jewish was like, community. boy. Jewish community, I got something to tell y'all. I'm looking in the main camera. Jewish community, I got something to tell y'all. Talk to him. Kanye made a great point. Everybody knows this. It's not. He didn't say nothing Listen. bad. Listen, it's three black, it's four black men in this room. You can only see three of us, right? If we get in the car, we get stopped, and there's one gun in the car, it's all four of us going to jail. Yo, everybody. yo, right? let me, yo, son, let me everybody tell you. Everybody going to jail. I'm gonna tell you a story, man, oh, and I, and, it, and it go with that too, right? Oh, you know, ah, uh, 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 I'm plucking a little shorty out. This, this some time back though. I'm plucking a little shorty out and shit. You feel me, saying? So long story short, we start arguing. You feel me? Arguing, she leave, you feel me? But she leave her friend in the spot, you feel me? So, her friend like, oh, this bitch just leave me in the spot. I'm going to expose her to her boyfriend, you feel me saying? Expose her to her boyfriend. She'll to get tight, like, I'm going to violate y'all. I'm going to violate y'all. Uh, Long story short, she called 12 to the door, you feel uh, what I'm saying? 12 come to the door. I hear the knock on the door. I send my mans to go open the door. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? He go, he see, he see 12 through the glass. He run back upstairs. They kick my door down, you heard? These niggas said they was coming in there searching for a gun. Sure, they called the police and I had a gun in the crib. They never found the gun. I thought she was going to hit with the fake DV. That's what look, I thought was happening. Nah, look. She said it was a gun in the crib, right? That's wild, bro. They never found the gun. Never found the gun. Why everybody that was with me, six people, all went to jail still, bro. Still got booked. That's but right. they ain't find a gun. It ain't even find there's a gun. Nothing to book you on. There's, there's nothing. They ain't even find a gun. Yo, bro, so they found they found some fucking. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? Damn. And then they was trying to say they found some. Damn, bro. So look, niggas is saying that to say right, like, so um, when black people, when one black person does something wrong, y'all get on the news. Y'all get on social media. Y'all get on every platform y'all got. And y'all talk about how black people listen, black people lack. But don't nobody say, yo, why don't you just talk about the black person you talking about? Why don't you just name the person? Y'all talk about black people. Mm. But now that Jewish people did Kanye wrong, niggas is talking about, yo, why you don't just name the person? Nigga, because if, if, if everybody I get wrong get done wrong by is Jewish, I'm going to assume there's something wrong with Jewish people. Let me tell you something. He talking, Look at fucking slavery. He talking about... Show business Jews. He's not talking about somebody on the corner that don't got nothing to do with him. 
Because he don't care about that. He care about the niggas but that's in the I office think, telling him he can't do shit. Trying I to think, and he said that. Nah, nah. I think it's even deeper than that because, yo, bro, not for nothing. Come on, man. And that's why I be like, yo, a lot of people, especially if you from the city, if you from these five bros right now, y'all be fronting, man, because y'all know who own all the buildings, yeah. who be kicking out families and homes. They don't want to hear no said, sympathizing, man. man. You ain't paying one right. month. They trying to kick. Come on, bro. out of there. Kick everybody Come on, the fuck bro. out. But I'm buy your whole they neighborhood on these buildings. You the fuck out, raise the price so you can't get back in there. Yeah, they've been sitting on these buildings, and when new shit pop up, they try to. My man's across up the street. Price. We was talking about the brownstone thing. My man's got a brownstone that he inherited from his mom. Yeah, uh, the she skull. passed, and the Jews came knocking real quick. Yeah, they, they, they all, always getting yeah, black y'all, people y'all up out there. A lot of a lot of these new buildings popping up. Yeah, they buying niggas out. So why right. is it cool? Why is and it moving us out? You people are buying us out. I mean, no and, all and, and moving us out too. You feel me? And making sure that we can't afford to get back in our own neighborhood That's and neighborhoods fact. niggas grew up on. But nobody want to talk about that. I can't mm. say that. Right. Yeah. Really. Right. Talk about it. So you know the Jews, they got a reputation that before this, people been saying this type of shit before this. Yo yo yo! I can ask you a question. Don't talk to Mel Gibson about them. He go crazy. Yo, yeah. Do you you know uh, Louis Vuitton, Gucci? Prada, YSL. I know what you about to say, bro. You know all these are uh, Jewish yes, name a, brand companies. There's, there's a, high fashion companies. There's, there's main Jewish owners who own luxury. Now let me ask you. Brand. Let me ask you a question. Who funded them? This is a question. Oh, who this funded is, this them? The, this is the question. Nobody know who day. funded them. Talk all about right. It. Yeah, talk Where about them it. countries from? Where what countries are they from? Oh, the big designers like yeah. Paris and that type of shit. Yo, you remember? You, you remember the Belgium? In there. You remember the World Wars? Yes. You know, uh, oh, let's go. You know World War Two, right? Yeah. You know the USSR really, and really all of that. Crazy. All these famous fashion brands. I got Balenciaga on my foot right here. You participating, y'all? Yo, you guess what? You know that they was funded by the USSR, right? Because that's wow. how they was making their money was from their exports. From war, you feel me? Mm. So these niggas, you selling? I can sell you some shoes for a thousand dollars. Imagine I sell a thousand shoes at a thousand dollars. I'm selling a white T-shirt for a band, oh. right? That money's coming back in funding war. If you don't believe me, go look it up. It's a proven fact. And they don't like to disclose where they got their early funds from because all that shit ties back into the USSR. So dirty. Where is the USSR? Was that shit not anti-Semitic? They yes. were trying to kill the Jews. So you mean to tell me that the same brand, Balenciaga, that fucking kicked Kanye West out for saying some anti-Jewish shit, y'all niggas got y'all money from the fucking niggas that was anti-Jews. Hitler was fucking paying y'all. The Jews That's, got down. No, no, it was actually deeper than that. Y'all was paying Hitler so that he can fund the war and continue to fight the Jews that y'all did not like. But now y'all want to tell me that this nigga's anti-Jewish. All right. It's crazy. And if I said something wrong, prove it. One of my favorite things, one of my favorite facts about the Nazis is that they uniforms are designed by a uh, luxury designer, Hugo Boss. Why you think that? Crazy, nigga. Yo, you I know, didn't know that. that. That's crazy. And, yo, and I'm not going, I'm not going to hold crazy. you. They did some yo, fucked yo, up yo. shit, but they was dripping, bro. The commanders look even, crazy. Even deeper like, than that. Even Empire. deeper than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even deeper than that. Yo, who did, who, who did Hugo work for before he started his own company? I don't know this. He worked for one of the big ones. Wait, I don't know this. I don't know this. He used to work for Louis Vuitton. Shut up. And then when, when he left, he didn't get fired from Louis Vuitton. They told, they told him, yo, you should start your own company. And he went and started his own company. And that's not how we have yeah. Hugo Boss. Same thing with Christian Dior. And Hitler was like, I like these. <laughs> he was like, I want all my guys to be rocking this shit. Christian Dior, I'll kill your Christian Dior came from Gucci. Christian Dior came from Gucci. Christian Dior used to be the, yeah, uh, I mean, the lead the designer for Gucci. Mm. Gucci was one of the companies that was funded by the USSR. Yo, Gucci, before y'all start talking shit. But Kanye Ben had a problem with these niggas. Before I buy something, I want to know what it was made. You feel me? I don't buy nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye, Kanye Ben talking about trying to get into these fashion houses. He Ben had that. that yo, process. yo, I want to know, is everybody going to, is anybody going to support him when he go off on his own, man? Yes, everybody got him. all this. All these mixed feelings and all that. I'm supporting yo, Kanye. Everybody, and it, I hate when people be like, yo, so do, black business, do black business, do black business, do black business, and they never want to support, support the black, black business, man. That's a good man. point, bro. Nobody wants right to support now, the black business. Right now, that's his biggest problem. He's saying, like, niggas is not supporting me. I think it was, um, uh, what, who's the nigga that's from um, Good Music that's from Queens? Consequence. Yeah. He was like, yo, none of the artists on Good Music is backing this nigga right now. Like, what? 
Nah, you see what Big Sean John did. Is like That's why he always sent his shots. It's crazy, though. Like, everybody wants to shit on Kanye right now. But when you think about what he's saying, I had to look I had to look back. I was like, what did he say? They blacking over his mural in Chicago? That's Y'all doing bad, Chicago. That's terrible. Like, I ain't going to lie. Uh, but you got to understand, I seen something, right? He said something in the Pierce Morgan interview that was crazy. What he say? He said... Yo, every like a lot of the black people, like middle class, um, middle class poor, you feel me saying, they're more mad about the George Floyd comments than anything. They're not really mad at the oh, that's shit. yeah, that's the rich. The rich is mad at that. Yo, I, I I agree. The rich is mad at that. I agree with Kanye West, but I don't locked off. Like I don't this. agree with what he said about George Floyd. Because mm-hmm. uh, if you go look at the autopsy, George Floyd died because of yeah, compression gotta, in his chest. I don't gotta agree. Not because he over de- Yeah, mouth. you don't gotta nah, agree. With, that's the other thing that's wrong with you niggas. Y'all niggas feel like you, you gotta agree with everything, everything. somebody say. You gotta to fall in love with the artist to be be your own person. You could take you could take things that he say and be like, all right. But, like, I'll watch Fresh and Fit and be like, all right. And there's certain things I'm like, y'all niggas, is crazy. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, nah, yeah, nah. They be wilding on Fresh and Fit. Nah. But, like, he entitled to his own opinion still, you feel me? What is the... We built up the the United States of America is built off of the amendments. Yeah. The Constitution. Yeah. And it's supposed to be freedom of speech, but it's yo, never yo, really yo. freedom of speech, though. Yo, I ain't never going to say especially. Hold so. on, hold on, hold on. Freedom of speech was never free. They shot, they killed Martin Luther King because he spoke. That's what I'm saying, man. They killed uh, Malcolm X because he spoke, but the, but that's what I'm saying. Freedom of speech was written into the Constitution. The Constitution, the Constitution was never written for us. The Constitution was written for the white man that broke away from what England. What they considered free people at the time, exactly. Yeah. They never considered us free people. Nah. That's why they always rewrote the Constitution. That, yeah. that ain't true? Not when uh, they wrote that shit. They wasn't thinking uh, about us. The only thing that white people ever <laughs> invented was the place where you got to send your application in to get your, to say that you made your invention. So then black people start sending their shit in. Like, you know oh, what they is, did? Oh, this is mine. Like, you can't go to court it. because you're not even considered a They're person. Like, what? The internet? Okay, word. I'm going <laughs> to take this one. Yo, yo, yo. You wouldn't be able to call <laughs> nobody on earth if it, was, if it wasn't for a black woman. Yeah. Yeah. The phone, man. This is crazy. This is, this is shit that they want to, that, yeah, that people got to look it up. You never get this. You never get yo. this. Get all the white heroes. I'm about to say the U.S. has Jewish people ain't all the way bad though because Mm -hmm. Russell Simmons said that (laughs) Russell Simmons said that it was Russell Simmons said, and I quote: "I put Jay Z in business with some Russian Jews, all right, versus the Syrians. I put Nelly in business with a Syrian Jew, Ruby Azrak. Pardon me if I'm saying your name wrong, and someone else. I couldn't get their name out. I couldn't figure it out." And they made $100 million in one year and $500 million gross at Apple Bottom from a Jewish man. You know what I mean? Yes. Another, another great Jewish man. All the business, bro. You know, uh, yeah. you know Rick Rubin? Mm-hmm. Music? Jewish. You know Leo Colin? Big had, a, had a 300? Big yeah. Had an Apple Music? I mean, had yeah. a YouTube heavy, Music? Heavy in the industry. Big yeah. Jew. Yeah. Big Jew, yeah. yeah. You know uh, Jimmy Iovine? Yeah. Big Jew. Interscope Records? The West Beats Coast. by Dre? The West Coast. Yeah, that's a fact. Big Jew. So all Jews ain't bad. But I, then I could also turn around and tell you that all uh, Leo Conan has also signed niggas to horrible deals. Yeah, nah. He, Took a 360 I mean, to another level, he but named. he ain't the only one, though. You got, they, they doing business is what yeah, they Bro, it's it. niggas that signing niggas to 360 deals. You feel me? To me ain't nobody going to call out shit. the black man, bro. That's the one thing about us, yeah, man. We, we can't don't really call take out a... black people. We can't hold each other accountable. Yeah, we, we don't do that. We don't do that accountable. Yeah, niggas and now crazy. we want to hold Kanye I mean, accountable. Shit. Nobody want to hold Kanye accountable when he said George Bush don't care about black people. He didn't say that when it was cool to say that. He said that shit when it was not, not cool. cool to say that. And guess what? Nobody knew what the fuck to say. And we all stood behind him. When that nigga got on stage and said Beyonce had the best video of all time, that shit wasn't cool. A couple of niggas tried to slay him. But every nigga that tried to slay him, we was behind him. Like, fuck you yeah, mean? She did have the best video of all time. Yeah. Now y'all niggas want to bug out because of what? What he said about the Jews wasn't wrong. If the nigga was done bad in business by Jewish people, you can't be mad at him. We was done historically. Black people was done historically bad by white people. Y'all always want to tell us, yo, just forget about it. How can I forget about you doing me dirty? You yeah. did my people dirty for 400 years with slavery. Huh, crazy and right you now. still doing us dirty yeah, but this is fact. years, decades after slavery. Niggas want to talk about equality. Y'all want to give... Yo, no offense, but y'all want to get homosexuals equality, you still ain't gay black people equality. The fuck is going on? Y'all niggas is wildin'. 
yo, I can't beat up an yo, Asian listen, person man. because I'm gonna go to jail. But you can I'm shoot a, niggas I'm with a badge tell you, yo, on. Listen, it's bro, cool. I'm about to tell you that that yo, whole shit is propaganda. Let me. I ain't go front. I don't Shout agree what Kanye Asian. said, but this is what I'm saying, that bro. Particular thing. They bump. They they like. I'm talking about emphasize the whole all of those cases that year, yeah. election year. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's only Chauvin election year you see black people. We was happy. You understand what I'm saying? But it's a lot of other people that didn't get that spotlight and that justice yet. Yo, they just shot... Yo, dude didn't want to put down his gun in Washington Heights. They just shot him 36 times two weeks ago. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't got to shoot a nigga 36 times. I mean, like, come on. What about the joint in the Houston? The training is terrible. And the, the performance on the job is the terrible. The shit that happened in Houston, the cop coming to, to respond to a call in McDonald's, when he gets to the McDonald's and hop out the car, he see or he thinks, because this yeah, is what he thought that. he seen. Thought he seen the person. A person that a couple days before, now I'm good, a couple days before stabbed out on him when he tried to stop. He pull up to the car, pull the door open. Son got the burger. He, he's so shocked. He's trying to close the door and spin out. He put 10, hit, put four on him. He's fighting for his life right now. And ain't oh, nobody talking kid, about right? it. Yeah. yeah ain't nobody talking about, about that, though. That's nobody crazy. ain't speaking about that. Because it ain't election year. You feel what I'm saying? This is the thing, man. They you only care about us when it's time to vote, because that's when they need our... That's when they need there's us. no job that you could go to If work, you don't vote for me, you ain't mistake, black. <laughs> somebody dies. Well, you see that? Other than being a cop. And it's all good. Yeah. Yo, you, you ain't see that? You never see that? Job. What happened? You ain't see the, 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 um, the video that, that... It was Biden, right? Yeah, that Biden put out when he was running for president when he said, "If you don't vote for me, you ain't black." Yes, that's what how I mean. you as a white man gonna tell me that I ain't black? What you mean? Yo, man, let me tell you. But something. you know why they want to do that? Because they stole everybody culture, so they think they know it's mean to be that. You've been having straight goofballs in the office for eight years. Or about nah, that. Trump was not no goofball. Yes, he was, bro. How? I mean, Trump so, kept, socially, Trump, he was a bad social person. He, Trump he was definitely de- terrible. He's not a good businessman. Nah, he he's wasn't a good business. He's man. not good socially. His political shit was based on just people just vibing. What about him was bad in business? He wasn't what? he wasn't bad business, bro. What, what about yeah, him was bad in so business? How many failed businesses? Are you crazy? Not, Everybody has failed businesses. You don't know about the Trump failed businesses? Everybody has but failed that's, businesses. That's, yeah, bro, that, not as many as he had. How do you know? I, niggas don't promote documented. you many failures. Huh? Niggas it's don't promote documented. you many failures. All right, so See, the average person, I'm going to tell you the only reason the why person, we know that, that Trump has so many failed businesses is because they got the scope on him. You still got to remember that. You feel me? A lot of these businesses, that's just that just comes with business. Trump has a good team around him. He knows how to he knows how to buy. But I'm right talking about team. in that four his, years he was president. If Trump was a bad businessman, no, I would, his, I'm in them four years, right? That he that he was president, right? What was the economy looking like? Wait, we're not about to attribute the economy to Donald Trump right now. How can we? we? He was the president. He's the that's president he before him. him there was another president. All right, all right, hold on, hold years. on. I right, when, when, con- and when you have to contribute the right, economy at that time. I know what you're about to say. When, when Obama got in office, right, everybody accredited him with the recession, right? And then they also accredited him with trying to get us up out the recession. But guess what? He took on the faults of the president before him. Every president does. When you yes. get in the office, yes. whatever's going on yeah. between your term oh, okay. is on uh, that's, you. What I was, that's what I was about to say. You feel me? So, yeah, but guess what? The economy was fucked before Trump, and he brought it back. Nah, man. See, that's what I'm saying. Unemployment was at the lowest, bro. That was that was Obama. That was his wave. And but like, you're gonna the give way it to you Obama, just but the it, way that they, they no, I'm telling the you, the way man, that the people fact. run shit, Dude, that's not a, a fact. fact. I invest money. This is a fact. I feel like, you, but Obama wasn't president during that, so that shit didn't matter. He's not gonna get yeah, the credit I'm telling for you, it. What happens is it happens in a wave. He starts it. I understand he had what eight you're years saying. To do it too. Think about think about that. Yeah, eight years to do that. He caught the wave of a recession. He caught the bad wave. And then what happens is during your administration, you start moving things so that they, they happen afterwards. They don't happen automatically. You All right. So with that being said, you don't need... So with that, if, if we're going to go by that standard, and, you and don't, don't even know what Trump I, did yet. And I don't... Because it ain't went into effect yet. So you don't know no, what he did, so you can't call him a bad no, business that's man. Clo- you close to my point because so I'm, I'm saying... I'm so. about to say, I'm about to say this, the good shit that is shining on Biden that people are attributed to Biden... Could also be part of that Trump administration's fallout. Yeah, they didn't have four. They didn't have eight years. Though. But the way we look at you the president, don't none of that shit matter. It don't matter. What the also, this who, is all right. What's, all right, the economy so now. Who, do you, people, who, who are, are you accrediting the economy huh? to now? Right now, yes, he's in the middle of his term. I feel like it's a mixture of Biden and Trump. 
Still but I'm saying, right, you brought up gas. Trump, but you're not going to give nothing to Trump. No, Listen, I, no, I'm, Trump not, was, I'm not taking nothing away from Trump. What was, gas, what, makes him say, what was gas when Trump was in office? This but, is another thing. If you want to attribute gas to the people person in office, then All right, that's, listen. That's, but that's Biden the, switched the company that's not that, accurate that the either. United States was using. He switched the company. That's why gas went up. That, once again, we had, we had a bunch of issues during this, this administration. We had COVID. We had... We had that blockage. What's your issue the, with Trump? Huh, that block is in the canal. What's your issue with Trump? I don't have. I, oh, I do have issues with Trump, but these are not part of my issues with Trump. No, I'm saying, what's your issues with Trump? My main issue with Trump is that it's <clears throat> it reflects on the. It's really an issue with the country, to be honest. Like the country just looked really bad during Trump's Trump's uh, How? administration because, and I'm not done because of his message emboldening. All of the racist nationalists. You know what Trump told you to do? Trump told you that if you believe in something and, in private, believe it in in public. And like I said, and I, I respect that. I take, niggas wanted to be racist in privacy. I, he's also a buffoon. There's a lot of shit I hear about him. He's a buffoon. He's <laughs> manipulative. He's he's you know. What politics do you he's partake a in? What politics he's a do you partake in? Yo, the nigga that's the huh? president right now is a part of the reason why all black people got locked up for weed. I'm not saying Biden is good either. They got say locked that. up for drugs. I didn't talk about my issues with Biden. Trump, <laughs> Trump ain't talk, send niggas. I Trump ain't, Trump Trump ain't mass incarcerate black people. You asked me about Trump. You didn't ask me about Biden. I know, but Trump ain't mass incarcerate black people. He didn't, though. He didn't. Because he's not a politician. You know in, I mean? his like, term, in his term, in his term, they started been closing prisons. Like they're so that's closing, one of my they're closing. He's never been a public official, and he got elected president. You know what I mean? You like, know why he got elected president? Because I want somebody who knows how to do the job to no, doing the job. I ain't gonna lie. So you, I don't think historically, I, yo, you got a pen and whatnot. Camera two is out of there, and uh, batteries is behind you, and I can't get behind you normal. My bag is behind him at the door. I got to let niggas oh, know that because y'all niggas is crazy out here in these streets. Oh, but yo. But yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, look, 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 look. Okay, okay. <laughs> Trump, right? Trump was not a politician. That is a fact. If know. you go and you look historically, I love history. Historic. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Historically, I know what you're gonna with say. the exception of this election, because they wanted to get Trump the fuck up out of there, Mm -hmm. Anybody that has ever won the presidency won because they had the most money behind them. Yeah, that's Trump a fact. was a multi what when he was running for president? Nobody that runs for president had the money that Trump got. You yeah. feel me? That's he didn't fact. need the backing from anybody. He put the money himself, and he was valid. And niggas still supported him. And back y'all gotta understand. So I had more money than you, which is how America yeah, works. Yeah. You gotta understand. As much what as country I, do y'all live as, in? As, as much as I'm like, yo, Trump is was doing crazy shit. He's bad. I, I say the same things about the Democrats. Like I don't, bro, bro, I don't. I think with they even want to twist it, bro. They no, crazy. Bro. I I'll, tell you, I, I'll give you one oh, example. No, wait, wait. Real quick, I, look, real quick. Listen, say this. Right. I respect Donald Trump because Donald Trump made niggas be real about their intentions and who they are. If you don't fucking like me because I'm a nigga, then tell me you don't like me because I'm a nigga. That that you want to be like in it? privacy and acting like you fuck with me, and then when you get around your own peoples, this nigga. Trump had niggas outside. <laughs> you do like, that too. This nigga no, does nah, that too. Nah, he was open. He was open. He was open about how he felt. Give him, no, 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 no. How many of no. his niggas got <clears throat> screwed over when shit got hot? Yo, bro, he fired. Black or white, you got fucked Bannon, over. Trump didn't give Bannon a fuck. Bannon got fucked over by Trump and also by the Fed. Yo, bro, yo, right bro. now the, yeah, the bro. Fed is on. Doctor uh, Fauci uh, was Trump's number one man. Can I just say he quoted everything Fauci you're talking said? Talking about Mister When you're shit fired. went left, <laughs> Trump, exactly. <laughs> Trump, Trump don't give a fuck about you, nigga. Exactly. Yeah, yo. that's a fact. Exactly. So I mean, it's just, exactly. So, so what are we saying? What are you we mean? Talking? What am I saying? You missing over exactly what I'm saying? What, Trump yeah. made people be upfront with who they are. And I'm saying he's sneaky. Do he's back door he's niggas. He's a businessman. What business? But what's up front about that? No, what do you mean? All right, I first mean, of all, up front is what no, no, he's no, no, telling you. No, 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 no. First of all, you keep... Which is what he's listen, good at. Listen, listen, listen. That he's a good me, manipulator. You keep telling... That's, that's the business part of it. He manipulated the whole population. First of all, America is a business. Why, you, why do you feel that way? Why do you feel like he manipulated the because population? Because he said it. He even said it himself. I've asked you Name, that he name, manipulated the population? Name. Yes. Or like, name, that's what he wanted. That's, that was name his goal. One time. president, right? That was out here talking all this shit about the other career. You don't think Trump is a narcissist that's only concerned about himself? Y'all bugging. Yo, bro. 
He's not. Right. He's not a good a person. Let me ask you a question. That is, he's not a good person because he thinks about himself. Man, no, I ain't he's not a good you. person because he's, I don't know. I don't. He has a track record yeah, of being bro. a piece. Of you don't shit know person. him personally. He has a proven track record. You of don't being know a piece him personally. Person. Yeah, I'm about to say. How could you you say don't that? know him personally. Huh? You can't say because that. Because a lot of a lot of the accounts of you people who know dealt that with him. Yo, have, bro, you never met somebody. Like this person's a piece Some, but nobody, you don't know what no, they hold did. On, hold on, hold on. You don't know ever, what they man, did. All the agreements wait, 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 was back on. behind nobody closed doors. Nobody ever told speeches. you something crazy about somebody interviews. and then it turned out I've to be great. I've seen him talk for a length of time. And every time I've seen him do that, I'm like, this guy's a piece of shit. What is he doing it for? <laughs> acting like he just come he's outside and give his personal opinions. He's making fun of disabled people That's at crazy. the rallies. Niggas he's make fun on, of disabled people all the time. I watch comedy, bro. You know, I don't even want to talk about Bro, we're not even going to talk about bro. We're not even going to talk comedy? about what some people be watching, bro. I'm not, saying, watch I'm not saying other people don't do it. I'm just but saying it's bad the president because he was did doing it. it. He's the president. He needs to Yo, be better Bill than Clinton that. Yo, Bill Clinton got his dick sucked in the office. Yo, I'm not saying that that's good, bro. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? One What's thing wrong with getting your dick sucked? I ain't to you, bro. One thing does not affect the other to me. So you don't feel like Trump you do? So name what, one what? president that didn't do nothing wrong. I was about to say that. Name one president that didn't do nothing wrong. Please. I'm, None of them. I'm not trying to say that. I'm saying But Trump every time I name something that Trump did, you tell me why he's a bad I'm person. I'm saying Trump particularly, we're talking about him, and so I'm talking about him. Okay. Yeah. You keep going to other presidents and other shit, we're because, talking about Trump. Because everything that you're saying applies to every other president, but because you don't like Trump, it only sticks to Trump. That's the same we're thing niggas do to Trump. Kanye West. I'm saying, you though. Say, um, unemployment was at its lowest you, rate. What did you think about Obama? How about you didn't ask me about other people? You asked me about Trump. You right. What, what do you then, think about Obama? What did you think about Obama? That, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you answer that. He, well, look, he when a lot you of ask things. me when when you you say what you say about Trump, right? And then the things apply to other presidents. I ask you, what do you think about that? Then you tell me I'm not talking about that. We talk about Trump. Well, what do I think about it when, the, when it comes to other presidents? But uh, no, no president, no president has ever no, you, done anything and didn't yeah, think about themselves, about them. bro. You're saying, you're saying that they compared to Trump. They no, yo, listen, listen, no, listen. That what did you think about Obama? What did what did you think about Obama? I think Obama I think Obama was was moving in the right direction overall. He could not possibly gotten everything done in his administration that he What was the right direction? His priorities, his you priorities. Know much, you know how much people went to jail? His priorities was probably in the wrong you know, so wrong, what are you talking was, about? Was backwards in, in a lot of ways, but this is the accountability. Effect, was he effective? This is to some kind of, degree, he was. Nah, to some degree, is, he wasn't. We had a lot of big fucking problems under Obama. We had people in cages. We had we had a lot of bullshit going on. We had we had drone strikes. We had we had oil issues too. We had oil issues. Yeah, oil issues too. We had he had eight years to go through a lot of bullshit. So eight could, years and went through straight bullshit. My boy Trump had four years and look what he did. Like I said, Fuck man, I don't mean, think that was all man. him. Come on, man. Of course, it wasn't all him. I just like think you, it wasn't all anybody. I think you discounting the eight years and how that affects the four years after. I think I'm you, not discounting uh, the eight years be- because before he had his eight years, another nigga had eight years to fuck this shit up. But what I'm you saying, me? but is, every time I talk about Trump, you want to tell me specifically nah, about what? about nah. oh, what about the presidents before him and this that, and the third? I but never said not that. Me that. You, so so wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what do you feel about Biden? Huh? What you feel about Biden? He's a buffoon. Run it back. <laughs> Biden is a buffoon, Let me bro. See your light. Kamala Harris. Back. She's a uh, she's another clown. Yo, you can time <laughs> stand like they they evil and they can't even hide it. Like they they just salivating over the country right now and they what can't you, even hide it. What you think about the mayor, man? Oh man. <laughs> Yo, you know he hasn't done any like. Yo, can I answer that? He hasn't. He hasn't. <laughs> what you think about what? Trump? What? Would no, you want Trump, Trump to be mayor? mayor? The mayor? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm nah, talking about Eric right. Adams. Eric Adams? Yo. Yeah, the cop, but yo, Eric Adams. Look, man. I'm going to look in the camera and talk to you because you know me, bro. When you was um, when you was the borough <laughs> president of Brooklyn. Nah, that ass. When you was the borough president of Brooklyn and you was doing the International Day of Friendship, you know, with my son behind the camera, that was the first time I met you. You was cool as fuck. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to say this because we wasn't legal then, but you know, this is, you can't say that. Nigga. Yo, you let me smoke a <laughs> <Don't> spliff. <matter. laughs> you let me smoke a spliff downtown in Borough Hall, bro. I did not know you was a fucking police officer. I didn't know you was championing to bring back Stop and Frisk, bro. You're wilding. I'm happy that you know. Well, no, you actually didn't do that. My man's before you was the one that legalized weed. They just got him the fuck up out of here Yo, because niggas didn't like him. Trump. They but doing him like David Dinkins, bro. Who? Um, Eric Adams. Oh, Eric He's Adams. a clown. He just fell for the David Dinkins. Them look, the only two black mayors we had in the city is the worst for both of their terms. 
The last black man we had was David Dinkins. Terrible. Him now as the second black man. Terrible. Like y'all niggas what's be going wilding. on? Y'all don't care about y'all people. Y'all it's, wanna it's, y'all wanna be mad great. when Kanye say terrible, some shit, but why y'all don't do nothing, terrible. yo? Y'all don't care about us. Y'all niggas is y'all niggas is Uncle Ruckus. Scapegoated. Yeah, weird, yo. It's, yo, it's tough. It's tough for him because he he he's a cop and the crime situation is not really getting as good as he wanted it to be. On you the ain't street. a cop no more, yo. nigga. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, know what I'm saying? But people expect him to clean up the city crime. He ain't no like, cop no more. He wasn't a cop in this era. Yo, I ain't gonna lie uh, to you, bro. Yeah, no cap. What y'all oh, need to yo, do you is know like what's crazy, police right? officers actually live in the community. The way they making the scene. Because I looked at the numbers on the news. They, yeah. they, they said the numbers. Everything is up but murder. That don't even make sense right now, bro. Yo, like, that's a good it's, thing, it's though. It's just... It's, it's contradicting. They not have body and niggas no more. No, but it's contradicting because all y'all showing every day is murder. Murder. Yeah. You feel Facts. what I'm saying? That's why I ain't watching you tell me only crime is, is down as murder? Because it's all See, propaganda, yeah. bro. You got to tell me You got to run for mayor again. You got, it's about yo. what they show you, really. It yeah, is. bro. You got to run for mayor again. You trying to make sure you know he good. I've been showing y'all murder, but now I'm going to tell y'all that I've been keeping it down. Y'all better vote for me again Yeah. while I fuck some more shit up. That's all politicians. Don't give a fuck who you are. Just because I like Trump don't mean I agree with everything he did. Who Sound worked like harder than the Mexicans? Why you want to build a wall? The co- we were living in a country built off of black people and Mexicans. That's you what I'm talking about. about. But that's what they've been doing anyway. Yo, and he never built the wall. Uh-huh. Yes, he did. I didn't yeah, even. Nah. Yo, let me, so tell you so Cal- let me tell you something. I lived in California. I see that wall, bro. Trump did so much wild, maniac shit I that see that a, wall. it became normal, and B, I can't even remember it all. That's how much <laughs> shit he did. That I'm like, yo, there's a lot of atrocious shit that he did that I'm just like, I can't even remember all of it. The but, wall is one of them. But Let's did you build the wall? But did you wall. did you listen to him? He did build the wall, bro. No, he he never finished. First of all, there is a wall. There's a difference between not building something and not finishing something. There is a so wall. So let's correct that. He did build a metal <laughs> now wall. Now it's a gate. Now niggas, it's like a wall. I mean, you know, but he built what he called was a wall. He just never got to finish it because niggas was never jacking that. Who you, yo, bro? Why y'all hire never Mexicans? Y'all I'm wall. not trying to be racist, but niggas hire Mexicans because niggas be working for cheap. Every hmm. construction site I've well, been yeah, on, exploiting immigrants. Yeah. Yo, do you believe in equality? No. Equality? Yeah. Huh. In a way, I think I believe more in like equity than equality. I believe that people should get what they need, and and equality is more like let's all get the same thing. So like, I'm I'm more about equity than equality. Equity is more about like. A you ever watch Animal Planet? Thing. You know what's crazy? Animal Planet. Nothing yeah. about. I'm about to say oh, that. Yeah, bro. Nigga, I was watching that shit nothing, today. Yo, nothing about like, life thing you bring that up. is equality. Because you got apex predator, you got the bottom of the food chain to the top of the oh, food chain. Oh, you're talking chain. about like politics? I'm saying, I'm anything. saying in anything, bro. Look no. at the wild. Look at, no, look at you I, watch, I don't, you watch I don't Animal Planet, right? Equality is a natural idea. You watch Animal Planet, right? Equality is a natural idea to us because we could think. We you see that gazelle out there eating that grass, enjoying its own day, <laughs> and next thing you know, you see a fucking lioness pounce up out of nowhere and tear that bitch ass off. You think that was equal? What about what yeah, about kinda. what about the what about the 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 the, the uh, gazelle that can run fast as fuck, but the other gazelle that can't run fast as fuck, so he got caught and ate. That was equal. I ain't have yeah, an equal opportunity what, to get it away. On what scale you talking about? Nothing is equal. There's it nothing has ever been equal. Yo, bro, it depends I on could, what scale you're talking about. I didn't have and a also, job. Also, I do believe that. I do believe that nothing is equal. You ever had whatever. a job? And, I'm about to say none of my shit, none of my 28 inherent- years of living was equal. You ever shit, had a job? Shit is inherently not the same, right? Yo, I got older. I got that. younger siblings. Life but was not equal. What I'm saying equal. is that shit gets checked in and out. I didn't out even grow up in a house things. with them niggas, and life wasn't equal. And life ain't never been equal. No, nah, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it is inherently equal. So, so what's equal as an idea? Like, if we want to talk about that as an idea. Yeah, we all yeah, got yeah. ideas. That's no, the only thing I'm that's equal. As a thought, as an idea. Like, no, I'm saying that's yo, the only thing that equal in, is that we all got ideas. Oh, yeah. Do you believe in racism? Like, yeah, as an idea, I believe in racism. Yeah. You believe I, everybody I, I, racist? I don't believe everybody's racist. You don't believe everybody racist? You don't think you're racist? Do you think you have racist tendencies? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. So he doesn't think that should classify you as a racist? You gotta understand, we all program, bro. So it's just a little bit in us. You feel me saying? It's racism. What is racism? Yes. You want me to give you the, the definition? 
Racism is really a form of tribalism based on racism race. is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism antagonism directed against a person or people on the bias of their membership in a particular racial or ethical group, typically yep. one that is a minority or marginalized. Typically, it doesn't say that you have to be. You think black people could be racist? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You just try to prove I was a racist. No, no, no. I didn't try to prove you was a racist. Uh, uh, so I tried I to know. prove that everybody is racist. Okay, and I'm black, so... That doesn't necessarily mean that you're a racist, but we all have racist tendencies. So what does the word racist mean? Well, which one? Which races we talking about? Race. Which races am I? Then I don't know. That's that's on you. I ain't because like before, questions. before I was like, yo, I'm not racist, and you were like, nah, you racist, you know? Because like, <laughs> everybody's racist. Look, 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 and then you're like, right, except right. for black people. And I'm like, you ain't, you ain't <laughs> never, you never look at a white person and just judge them because they white. Yeah, you don't think that's racist. You'd be yeah. offended if a, if a white person looked at you and judged you because you was black. You don't get tight when do you that. walk past a white that. woman and she clutch her bag. I don't do that from a from a from a way. You don't of, mean to be it's racist. programmed. No, I don't. I don't do yeah. that from a malicious way. It'll be like, yeah, bro, it's programmed. It'll be us, like, bro. Oh, this this white guy looks like a nice guy. You know what I mean? Or shit like that. You know what I mean? So it's not like um, <laughs> you just assume they all got good of, credit. I see a bunch of young niggas on the corner, and I'm like. Jesus, niggas ain't up to nothing. Yeah, they up to no, no good, good, right? No good. Like, you don't think that's racist Club against your whole kind? Like, you see niggas on the corner Nike like, damn, look at these niggas. On. <laughs> you said Nike Texas construction. Niggas got shiesties on. Like, nah. Yo, if they yo. start dancing, you know it's crazy. Y'all gotta tell y'all something. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. sturdy. Yo, today's episode was brought to you by Unique Threads. Yeah, we got the hats on. You got the hats on. We got the hats on. We got I didn't get a hat yet. I didn't get one yet. You know I mean? Now yours right like there. Shirt. Yours oh, right there. Let's go. Let's we got go. the shirts. We got the hoodies. You feel me? They got the nice print in the back. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. go. You feel me? We ain't playing. Yo, Shout my boy Molly out. It is boy nice. Molly. At a pristine price, uniquethreads.com. You feel me? I'm telling you, that's where it's at. Shout out my boy Molly. Unique Threads. Joey Cracks. Unique Threads. Joey Cracks, my son Molly, and my son all oh, foot. Them niggas Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. I, I designed two, and I'm fucking with these. I ain't gonna hold you. So my boy, hey, I ain't gonna see. lie. Quality, quality. Well, it, it's, it's quality, bro. yeah. That's a good Love, money, peace, happiness, nice. man. You my know boy what it is. He got dad hats. You feel me? He got the dad hats over there. He got the truckers. He got the beanies and all that. You feel me? He got shirts, the hoodies, sweatsuits. He got it all. Yeah, he got the feats and all that. I mean, what? He ain't got the shoes, but he got the he got the pants. Shoes on the way. I don't think I was supposed to say that. My <laughs> fault. <laughs> My bad, yo. Accessories on the way. Oops. Yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. Yo, I got dreads. You feel me? I, I've never worn hats ever in my life, but this hat was so fire with the money green. I had to wear it. Been wearing this shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So it's fire. I'm like, yo, with the money green though. Nah. How you gonna do that, man? Yeah. I got it. I got the. Yo, Shout man. out to them. Shout out to them. Also, all our thoughts are only our thoughts. They do not reflect on any of our sponsors or any Obviously, brands that you think see. Think for yourself. Think nope. for yourself. I mean, that's the reason why I'm sorry <laughs> you got to pay me because we just got free advertisement. We're going to blur the shit out of that. And I'm going to bleep your name. <laughs> so you ain't even hear who I just said sorry to. But that's who sponsored the show. And that's the reason why y'all seeing them. So that's if you know, fact. if you want to get, you know, that's you should sponsor it up here, you know, get some advertisement. So dope. We got over 37 million Holla views. Ladders. You feel me? We got the views. And also, if you want to hear your song in the beginning or the end of the pod, just like you heard that song in the beginning or the end, holla at us. I mean, trust me. Yeah. So I forgot on the list. What was uh? What was something <laughs> else that I wanted to talk about on the agenda? Oh, um. So on you so you agenda. do think that black people could be racist, right? Because I was having a conversation with some niggas that told me black people can't be racist because we don't hold any power in order to hold other races down. So I don't think <laughs> I don't think these niggas ever looked no. at the definition of racist because it's, it's yeah, a that's column. crazy. But that's crazy how you look at it. How you look at it. You heard I, what he I've, said? I've heard he said that we before. have no power, so how could we be racist? That's, that's wild. Not, no power. We don't have no that's power. Wild. That's crazy. We don't got no powers, black people. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That should let you know agree. what black people think about black people when you think we have agree. absolutely no power. Black agree, people don't got yeah. no power? Wow. Yeah, and if black people into... had no power, then Eminem would have been recognized as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, hip-hop artists to do it. Yeah, that's so But we got power as black people. So we're going to give it to the black man because we control this shit. We run the world. 
Yeah, they just don't want to give us no credit for that. Ha! <laughs> black people just can't be a lot racist. Of people that's dead puppeted right now. Yeah, black people can't be racist. Black people and then puppeted. they run around and, and sound like fucking Uncle Ruckus from the Boondocks. Yo, shout out to Charleston White, bro. You should uh, when that's they sick. made the live adaptation to the Boondocks, you should play Uncle Ruckus. Only thing you need is a bodysuit. You already got the eye. You already got the conversation and shit. You feel me? Even though a lot of this shit that you be saying don't be wrong. I ain't gonna be saying say that, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not exactly, saying a lot that's, of shit that's true. Exactly, I'm, I'm not, yo, I ain't gonna front to you. What he be saying a lot he of shit do, that's he true. Heard some he be shit. He, said, he did exactly. say so. yeah, I said a lot of shit that's uh, true. I don't agree yo, with everything everybody he, he saying. Be yeah, can't agree with everything. He be wild, but he he do be talking some real shit though. Yeah, I I he. He be wildin'. Niggas, the band, the band spray is crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Because you, you gotta, you gotta give, you gotta give people their credit, man. Yo, one of the things you he be saying he is be niggas, some real niggas shit, be ready bro. to kill niggas about nothing. But as soon as, as soon as we got a reason to go kill somebody, niggas don't want to do nothing. Mm. If the police come beat your ass right now, niggas will stand there and watch. But then they'll talk all this shit on the internet. Yo, if it was me, if it was me, yeah. if it was me, if it was you, nigga, you wouldn't have did shit because you don't want to get shot. That's but now, if a nigga step on your shoe, you ready to kill that nigga? Word, damn, B. Word, crazy. Niggas picking shoes. That's a fact. Always like that. Is that just black people? I feel like everybody. Nah, everybody yeah, everybody doing that. That's everybody. That's a fact. You gotta look at it, man. I can't even make it seem like I ain't never encountered other races. That's what that got what we got going on. That's a fact. Of, I'm just saying that sometimes. Word. We don't mess together, you feel me? It ain't united, you know what I mean? So, Not to say everybody in every in every race got the cool ones and then the bad ones, you feel me saying? So, but with that yeah. being said, you think Black Lives Matter was a scam? The movement? Yeah, I mean, I understand what everybody was trying to do with it and everybody united, but once they organized it and tried That's to, you what know what I'm saying? saying. Put it's an idea. Order. How is that a company? Huh? It's an idea. How is that a company? Yo, I'm going to tell you. The that, second man. it was this, a company. This is what I think. This is what I think. The only reason she fucked up is because she didn't do what everybody else does when they make a non-profit. When everybody else makes a non-profit, they buy everything through the company. Yeah. You feel me? And nothing in their name. And they make sure that they do put some of that money towards the shit that they say that yeah, they going to put it towards. And, then they, they and then they do whatever up. the fuck they want to do afterwards. Yo. The fact that... Yo, you ever you ever woke up in the middle of the night and seen the little African boy with the ball head that asked you for a quarter? That's all he needed it was a quarter. Cause I used to see that commercial when I was like I was about twelve, to say, thirteen. Was scamming like and you know crazy. what? I seen one of them commercials recently with the same little boy that I know damn sure my mother sent at least three, four hundred dollars to this nigga. And they yeah. money not being worth much, nigga. That shit was supposed to help that nigga out. And she was not the only one sending money. Y'all niggas got at least a couple <laughs> million for yeah. that little for that one little boy and them ten little niggas and little kids and shit in the That's village. And them niggas is still on TV asking me for money. You feel well, me? They was but scary. you know, you learned that lesson. You see, so you know about that. Side. Yeah, but you know why I they think got a lot of people why, you know why the first they get away with it though? Learned that lesson, like right, they get away with it money. because they did. They did spend some of that money on them kids. You feel me? Oh, yeah, yeah, but then like, where's the money going? Like, they and, and, they, and they ain't buying top dollar shit, especially if it's, it's a like the bottom barrel. If it's food. a private organization, yeah. it's like, oh my god. But yo, that's how that's how it works. That's how the taxes work. Yeah, the second is like BLM is a, a company. Yeah, I, I fucked up. It's we, an idea. It's we only we only found out that BLM fucked fucked us over because of the IRS. The IRS was like, yo, you fucked yo. us up on the taxes and yeah, the, IRS the IRS exposed them. Love to expose them. The were, IRS only uh, wanted their money. Was in Egypt. <laughs> this nigga was taking like, Egypt trips and shit. Up? Oh, yo, yo. Them niggas was buying trannies and shit, bro. What? what? Yeah. This nigga always got some next information. <laughs> I, I, I watched the documentary, you feel me? And I did my research and I looked at what the IRS was saying. Them niggas was yo. buying prostitutes. Them niggas was buying trannies yo. and all that shit. Yo, that shit crazy. Yo, what you identify as? A fucking male. <laughs> you identify as a male? What you identify as? A man, bro. You identify as a man? Yeah. I identify as a white man, so I demand white privilege. And if I cannot get that, then get the <laughs> fuck out of my face. So my boy is crazy. So. I demand white. Why well, can't get white privilege? Why well, can't demand to Yo, be? Yo, you're a young white man out here. Like, I'm honest. <laughs> but, yeah. but when I go tell other people that, they look at me like I'm crazy. That's crazy. That's, that's how you identify as? I identify as a white right, man with white privilege. You. That's how much you you're but you have to give me white privilege because that's a part of what I identify as. A white man with white privilege. 
Yeah, this nigga is crazy. <laughs> I can't do that? This nigga is crazy. Why I can't do that? You know why you can't do that. No, I don't. Tell me. <laughs> you know why you can't. I don't know, you know why. why. Tell me. <laughs> why I can't do it? Because I'm black? <laughs> when you see me, I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> My name Kodak Black, but when you see me, I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's because... <laughs> Suburban. Yo, if you can't... If you can't... If I can't be identified as a white man with white privilege... Then what's something's wrong? Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Yo, bro, you know, you know, you be all Stay filling out naked. paperwork and shit, and they ask you, "What are you, black, white, the Indian, Asian?" Yeah. And then they got the box in the corner that say "other." Okay. I check "other," you know, it be a line. <laughs> it be a line right there. You can write in your own shit. You feel me? I be writing in my own shit. And then when they ask me what I identify as, I write white, <laughs> a white man white with white man. privilege. And every time I turn that shit in, they always go, "Sir, you're supposed to check black." And I'll be like, "How you gonna tell me what I am? What are you talking about? How you gonna tell me what I identify?" Fire. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't be a white man with white privilege. I want white this privilege. That's what bugging, I feel like I, 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 like I deserve that. This Out of the life bugging. that I've lived and I'm, everything that I feel like I deserve that, I, I want to be identified as a white man with white privilege. That's crazy. You know what? And I love black women. They're the best. <laughs> You're that Nothing kind of white guy. <laughs> uh, that type of white guy. I'm trying to dip outside because I, like I, I love my coffee black. <laughs> <laughs> the black of the bear. What's the saying, y'all? <laughs> black of the bear is sweeter than juice. That one. Yo, I support no this shit. Yeah. Because you, know you know what comes with being a white man with white privilege? I don't get looked over. When the police pull me over, they don't assume that I'm trying to kill them. Yeah. For me? They don't see no dreads. They see a white man. You feel me? They see me in a suit. Nah, Rise on a white person is like, oh, this guy's cool. It's fine. Oh, he's getting high. This yeah. guy's fun. And, and they're not trying to flip you upside down and run your pockets for your weed. But me being a black man, you know, <laughs> they going to flip me. That's a fact. What? I had a nigga tell me when I was 15, yo, when you turn 16, I'm looking for you. I'm going to find you. <laughs> what? Nigga. Yo, yeah, fact. a police officer. He said, oh, yo, when I was oh, young, oh, he said, I'm going to find you. Sorry, yo, was, that shit sounded younger, crazy. Uh, he said, yeah, I'm going to find you. They're locking like, you up. <laughs> the the D-Tex used to go crazy I like, when I was what? younger. Because like, I, I used to look a lot. I still look younger than I am. And they used to call me Arnold. I remember this back in the day. Yo, and they're like, yo, we're going to lock the fuck up, Arnold. Like, like, you don't want to cook on you? You don't want to cook on you? You don't want guns? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, niggas stay thinking I got guns and shit. Why I got to have a gun? Because I'm black? That's crazy. I don't go asking you, yo, I mean, you got great I credit. I ain't gonna lie to you, sir. Yo, you have I slaves? I ain't, yo, I ain't gonna lie. In New York City, I ain't really go through no racist cops. You know why I went through some racist ass down cops? Down fucking shots? south. Oh my God. Oh, yo, I listen. can't even imagine. Yo, bro, listen, Wait, listen. Where, where down, sir? Everywhere. Yo, listen, it's so crazy. <laughs> Everywhere. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Don't go I to got... Mississippi. Yo, no, look, look, look. look. It, happened in, it happened in um North Carolina, in Thomasville. Watch this. Yo, Mississippi just yo, look, abolished slavery in 2017, y'all. Yo, look, look. We coming from Charlotte, Fishing. right? Look it up. We pull up. We we go downtown, little town called Thomasville. We pull up. It's a little downtown, little strip mall shit. I got a bank in it, you feel me? We drive past a bank, though. You feel me saying? A fidelity, you feel me? We drive past it. We pull up in a strip mall. I'm familiar with the area, so you know what I'm saying? I'm good. I come out. My boy with me. His baby mom's going to bank. We talking. I'm like, yo, I'm about to go walk down to the cookout to get something to eat. He like, I ain't driving you, nigga. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm going to walk. I start walking and shit, you feel me? I'm looking in the front of the Fidelity Bank. It's like 30 cop cars, bro. Uh, I'm like, nah, this shit look crazy. And this I'm, is a small town? Yeah, this is a small town. So look, look. With 30 cops in front of one shit? Yeah, so look. As I'm walking, right? You know, it got the little drive exit shit, the, the ensign exit shit. It's some it's a white dude driving out. Old man driving out. Stops dead in front of me. Guess what he says to me? Yo, you not the guy that just robbed the bank. I looked at him. I didn't even know how to respond. I didn't even know how to respond to what he said, right? So I just look, start laughing. I walk away. Boom, I get to the cookout. There's somebody in front of me. They order, they get their food, they leave. I'm about to order my food, right? I'm in the midst of ordering my food. Something tell me, look to the left. I look to the left, bro. It's two detectives right next to me. Uh, yo, can you come over here? Can we speak to you? I'm like, yo, for what? I'm being detained? they like, right now? Yeah. Uh, pull me over to the side, bro. The two more detectives pull up in the car. They hop out. They got a phone. So now they're looking at the phone and shit, right? They're looking at the phone. They're like, yo, tell him to take his glasses off. I take my glasses off. 
take the hat off. I take the hat off. Put the hoodie on. I put the hoodie on. <laughs> yo, bro, they got me out here posing, bro. Like I'm about to be in the, like, like a, a, yo, bro, like I'm about to be in a double XL. Like you actually trying to make me the fucking mugshot. Yo, so like. I'm doing all this shit though, right? Boom, they looking, they looking. They're like, nah, that's not him. So now they ask me questions. What you doing here? Ah, uh, uh, fucking getting some food. I'm, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm spinning, I'm spinning, Obvious. I'm listening. So look, I had to have my people just come pick me up though. They didn't want to let me walk down the hill because the other, the other um cops would have stopped me. What? Because the old man went back and told him that he seen me and he think I'm the dude that robbed the wow. bank, bro. So look, they sh- they end up showing me the picture, bro. No cat. At that time, bro, I was a buck fifty. He he tell you I wasn't. You feel me saying I had it. Yeah, I wouldn't know if they're a little yummy. I wasn't always this big. You feel me saying I was skinny. Yeah. Yo, bro, they compared me to a dude that's my size now. Like this dude had to be like two eighty, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Only thing we had in common is that we was dark skinned and he had a beard. He had a pullover. I had a zip up, bro. Nike. The only they said, yo, that was the only thing that saved me was because the shit said Nike, and his shit was a plain black hoodie. I'm like, yo, bro, he got a pullover. I got a zip up. This nigga is a hundred and something pounds heavier than me. We don't even look alike. Because uh, you was you was black, bro. All black people look that's, alike. That's all of yo. Police be doing bad. They they the worst at their job out of the whole. No, they not. They doing what yes. they was paid to do. They the worst they job, bro. What you think they was paid to do? Crazy, all bro. the time on dumb shit. shit. Was crazy. They don't know what how you think to, they was paid to do. You think they paid that to crazy, pull bro. people over and just be like, yeah, you look like somebody else, kind of. Why was bro. the police created? To catch bad people. Okay, then. That was crazy, though. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this you ever looked at look, the, the? I ain't even look like the New state sigil. The police sigil. I know what it is. with a slave whip in his hand. With a whip in his hand. You know what That's mean? what it was supposed to be, though. It's supposed to be, you know what I mean? The only thing that changed was what the they, times. What they say. And when they operate outside of that, they being pieces of shit. That's what I know. So, so like, they, to me, if I understand what you're saying. It's like an overseer, like a slave driver almost. It's that, no, that's what it is, bro. If you look at the, N, the New York State Police Sigil, right? On one side, the nigga has an a, a, a eagle in his hand. On the other side, he has a whip in his hand. That ass. And if you read Latin, if you convert the words from Latin to English, it tells you all you need to know. If you look at the conception of police, police was only created. There was no police when there was slavery. There was no such thing as a police officer when there was slavery. When slavery was abolished is when they created police officers to keep niggas in check. Yeah. Police was never made to keep white people in check. It says protect and serve, protect and serve. Who? They don't protect and serve. You go ask the police officer who they protect and serve. They don't have an answer for you. You know why? Because it ain't you. <laughs> I ain't protecting and serving you, nigga. That's why when, when I call the police as a black man, right, niggas ain't showing up. And if they do, I'm already dead. If a white man call the police, the niggas is here. Nigga could have been 17 hours away. They're going to teleport. They're going to be right outside. <laughs> We're here. What's wrong? <laughs> black man call the police. Niggas, I let them niggas die. Them <laughs> niggas taking their so time. You got, so, so, would you ever call the police? Hmm? Would what? Would you ever call the police? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> no. I was in a situation, right, where I had to talk to the police. They put... They, the, the news made it seem like I went to jail. According to the news, I'm still in jail right now. What? Yeah. And I was the victim. <laughs> and as I'm telling the niggas, yo, I'm the victim, <laughs> niggas like, no, where's the gun? Where's the gun? I'm like, yo, bro. I was wow. shot at. I don't know where no gun at. Who shot you? I don't know. <laughs> Niggas showed me the camera and showing me what's going on. I'm like, yo, bro, why you keep asking me what happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'm traumatized. See? I was shot at. I don't know what happened. That's what I'm, I'm saying. traumatized. I don't remember nothing. Nigga gonna tell me, yo, are you sure you don't got nothing to do with this? Yeah, that's no. so crazy. <laughs> Bad police work. And I that's still went to jail about. just Bad, to get released. Bad police work. But I, it's because I'm black, bro. They're not protecting and serving me. <laughs> you know what true, niggas kept telling me? You're not going to go to jail. We're here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later, I was in jail. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, so they be cradling niggas, bro. You're not gonna go they to jail if you just comply. It's okay. Everything is gonna work out. Niggas. 
Rock the right to sleep. You, yo, yo, Rock why you don't want to come sleep. to court, bro? I don't know what happened, nigga. I don't know <laughs> what happened, nigga. Remember what you do? I, get I don't it, know bro. what happened, I get it, bro. <laughs> I know I was dead, I but it. I don't remember. Nah, when bro. I heard bang, I forgot. <laughs> I was thinking about everything, but let me look at this nigga face and remember him. Hmm. No, no, I'm not raised from that. My mother told me don't tattletale when I was a child. That shit stuck with me. Y'all niggas' mothers didn't tell you that. I'm West Indian, maybe not. Y'all niggas mothers ain't tell you that? My mother told me not to tattle tell. Y'all niggas want to tattle tell? I don't even know what that, what happened for you to, ta- to ask me what happened. But that's a fact, though. I don't know what happened. I don't know. That's a fact, though. I don't know. I was leaving. I heard a loud boom. Not your, not your, I kept going. You feel me? Because I, I got PTSD, bro. I grew up in the hood. I've been hearing gunshots all my life. You know, I just know when you hear gunshots, you duck and get low. So I duck and got low. I don't know what happened. I don't look back. Shit, you don't look back. You just... You, you, yo, you behind me? You feel me? I hear voices I came with. We out. You feel me? We get safe and then figure out, yo, you good? You good? We don't figure that shit out right there in the gunshots. No. I don't know what happened. Leave me alone. And if you keep calling me, I'm going to tell them niggas you harassing me because I keep telling you I don't know what happened. You got it on camera. What you asking me for? <laughs> Stop snitching. Y'all niggas is tellers. I ain't telling on nobody. I don't even know what happened to tell you what happened. <laughs> so I can't even tell because I don't know what happened. I was there, but what, I wasn't there. What that nigga said? I had an out of body experience. <laughs> I don't Why know you what that? happened. That nigga's fine. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga jazz fine. Yeah, jazz. <laughs> that nigga had an out of body experience, experience bro. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. You ever hit a nigga so hard they had an out of body experience, nigga? Out of Ken Vaughn hit that nigga with the Mike Tyson, boy. Because that nigga got hit so hard he left his soul and looked at himself. You ever seen, um, Doctor Strange, the the one with Spider Man, <laughs> yeah. when he hit the nigga on his body and his soul left his body, that was Quando Rondo looking at that nigga like, Quando oh, <laughs> he did him bad, he did him bad. That nigga is a fucking. He just dropped a new track he's too. He's crazy. Yo, how you feel? Yo, 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 y'all. I know when y'all seeing this Halloween he's already passed, but tomorrow is Halloween. How you feel about uh? How y'all feel about uh? People dressing up as Jeffrey Jeffrey Dahmer for Halloween. There's gonna be a lot of people doing. There's gonna that. be a lot of people doing that. That's you gonna think, be a popular. You think that's cool? Costume this year. Do you no. think that's cool? Um, no. <laughs> that's wacky, and that shit could lead to wild, crazy shit. You gotta remember that there's like a that's a real thing that happened, like you know, that type of shit. But you know, it can lead to some crazy shit because you, you don't know who you enabling by doing that. You don't know who you enabling. Even deeper than that, why is Jeffrey Dahmer the person that you want to dress up as for Halloween? Because they don't take it serious, obviously. Like, they're just like, oh, that's funny. They don't even know how long ago that out. was. That wasn't that long ago. You nah, could have no, right you could have been one of the niggas. Anybody who's doing that is not taking it seriously. Yo, especially yeah. with the world we live in now, you could have been one of them niggas that went over there, you feel me? You might have liked him. And went over there yeah. thinking you was going, whatever y'all do, you feel me? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a heterosexual male, so I don't, you know, but whatever y'all do, you could have went over there to do whatever y'all do. And then next, you know, that nigga was cutting his <laughs> shit off and putting it in the fridge and eating you for dinner. And now you want to dress up as Jeffrey Dahmer, even if you not like that. But that's it, why crazy. would you want to dress up as Jeffrey Dahmer? I got a problem with anybody that dresses up as a real person that did some horrendous shit. That's, Niggas that dress yeah. up as Hitler and all that shit. Yeah, you can dress up Manson. as Michael Meyer. Charles you know, Manson. You know why it's cool that. to be Freddy no or Jason Jones. or Michael Myers no for Halloween? Manson. You know why that's cool? Because no the niggas Sam, is fake. No Jeffrey Dahmer. Them niggas was, was, was characters created. You feel me? Movie characters. Them niggas never really did that. Jason was dress. never on his yeah, spaceship killing They're not killing taking it bitches. seriously. That's why, they, that's why they do it. They think it's, they think it's a story, a movie. Niggas is crazy, bro. But at the end of the day, people really got eaten, like you said, chopped up. Yo, that Jeffrey Dahmer shit was so offensive, right? That the LGBTQIA... I mean, I think you just... You good. Yeah. Not, yeah, all of them, the, the, the community... They didn't even want that shit in their category on Netflix, and Netflix had to take that shit up out their category. Oh, word. That ass. So when that shit first aired on Netflix, it was in the LGBTQ plus community category. Take it down. And they was like, nah, we not jacking that. Take that up out that of shit is, I ain't going to lie, because that shit is crazy. It's horrendous, bro. Like, think about... First of all, you was doing what? Eating what? And doing what? Putting what in the fridge? Like, what? Cutting people up, Come eating on, them. Son. Come on, over like I don't even want to over again. And yo, son, I can't even fathom how people sat there and watched that. First of all, I already knew about it. So when the series yeah. dropped, I'm not even wanting to. I, I don't even want to see it, it because I already know. I about this. If you if himself. you interested in what Jeffrey Dahmer did, then why don't you go watch the documentary? Why you want to go watch a, a adaptation 
serious about it. Why you? Because then they're gonna break down in detail because and they're gonna, they're gonna show gonna you like it actually shit. happened. They're gonna change it to make it more story. Full. But then them, Yo, you bro, know, the people, the families, the families to them to. people are you still alive. The families to them people oh, are still alive, on. and you changing these real life situations to make it good for for TV and shit to try to act like the shit didn't really happen. The nigga that got away, even, even deeper, the family, the is nigga. Alive. That got he away is still alive. If he was still Word. alive, right, and he made money off that I movie, I think he'd been going he through a lot of trauma I think like, he'd been in and no, out of jail. He probably would have had to pay that in like restitution or some shit if he was still alive and could claim any of that money or that shit. But that money is just free to go to whatever production house. How do you own that? St- how you own that story, bro? Like how you how you get? Why are you making money off of that? How you make money? That's off just that crazy. Story? Why you don't? You know, even that if, and that show right, was cool. number one. Why you not trending? paying? Why it's you not? Like it still is number one trending in the world, right? In the world on Netflix, still number one since that shit came out. Niggas, niggas love niggas that shit. Don't take this shit serious. Yo, if you were, if you were, if you were a straight man and you watching Jeffrey Dahmer, I'm judging you, and I want you to know that. I'm looking <laughs> dead in the camera and telling you this. If you one of my mans, if you know me personally. <laughs> right, you could come say something to me about it, and I I want to hear your your argument, but I'm gonna tell you to your face. I don't give a fuck what your argument is. If you interested in Jeffrey Dahmer because you wanted to learn about it, then go re- go watch the documentary. Go read a book. You feel me? Go read. You got YouTube niggas to tell you about Jeffrey Dahmer. If you want to go learn about Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah. but if you was actually interested and you wanted to see firsthand what it might have looked like, what this <laughs> nigga was doing and all that crazy yeah. shit, then I'm worried about you. I think that's something that's wrong with you. Yo, son, you, you know who was that? Ass. Yo, you know it was people. And if you're posting, not my man, I still feel like yo, that. Listen, it was wrong people with you. posting like, yo, they felt bad for him when he got killed that's in the prison. Crazy. How you feeling bad for him? You ain't feel like, bad for the people bad. he was cutting up. Don't feel bad for you, nigga. That's crazy. I don't feel bad for people like they, that. They, they you deserve what you get. Him. That's crazy. I don't feel bad for you. You deserve what you get. If you feel bad for him, I feel bad for you because you need to be the same place where he was. Because you something wrong with you. You crazy. You crazy. How, how you? Yeah. How you? Feel Everybody bad a little for bit crazy, but it's how much crazy you are that's not. Well, I mean, good. like you gonna sit there and not even think about the fact that he gutted niggas and multiple bodies. Yo, bro, he was cutting niggas' balls and dick off and eating it. And you want to watch oh, that? Man. They showing you that. I didn't even want to I never watched that shit. I'm I'm seeing this shit on Facebook. I didn't even want to confront that shit. Niggas is writing, yo, they doing this. I know I know niggas personally. It's, that was on Facebook giving me detailed accounts of what was that. going on it's, on that that's shit. Crazy. And I had to delete it's, them from my, my, my friends list. It's, it's, women that, that. it's women that write people in jail like this. So that's a fact. There's, yeah. there's, there's a whole that's bunch a whole of people. Fact. That's people that like that. That's facts. But I don't get it. But you know what they don't do? They don't be publicizing that shit. They don't be out here proud of that shit. But so wait, wait, are you are you judging all the women that write people in jail, or are you just saying like no, those those like types, this. the ones oh, that write niggas like so him? That's, that's why I said oh. like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even a right. sicko like that. Yeah. yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they sickos like too, and they, they they see something in him that's like yo, that. I was watching. Uh, they be they be yo bro. They be like worshiping them type of yo bro. Yeah, I was watching all. Here's Morgan, right? And and it's a uh, scientist named Jordan Peterson. It's fucking yeah. And he Morgan. said, he said, there's a bit of Hitler and Stalin in everyone. There's more than a bit. If not, why would Nazism have spread like it did? That's a yeah. part of people. You think Jordan that's true? Jordan Peterson said that? First uh, of all, yeah. I fuck with Jordan Peterson. I don't know if you do. No, I, I fuck with Jordan uh, Peterson. I don't agree with everything you say, but I fuck with once him. Again, uh, once again, uh, once yeah, again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not familiar with who once that again. is. But then, who's, all right. Jordan, who's Jordan Peterson? He's like uh, a scientist from a, Canada. He's a scientist from Canada, but he's like a really high accredited scientist. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's like the Canadian version to like Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's a black scientist. But, yeah. but psychology Tyson. Yeah, he's yeah. a psychology. Neil deGrasse Tyson is astrophysics. Oh, all right, cool. Nigga, nigga, he does guy. psychology. Little grass the brain. You feel me? Yeah, no, no, no. You know, I'm nah, not with you that. for yeah. the niggas that don't know. All right. so, <laughs> yeah. Psychology is the study of the brain and why people do the things that they do. You feel me? And yeah, you got yo. sociology, which is he, slightly. So, what do you think about that? He said, "What do in, I think about in that?" Nazi Germany, they were able to be a Nazi and, and rally the people behind that shit. Yo, but it wasn't just niggas that was from from Germany that was Nazis. This is a That's fact. the thing that people forget. The USSR. You know what used to be a part of the USSR? Oh. Ukraine. Okay, yeah, of course. Yeah. All them countries that border Russia used to be a part of the USSR. I don't know if we want to get into this, but uh, a part of the reason why Russia is beefing with Ukraine is because when NATO made the treaty, it was said that NATO can't ally with any company that's on the border of Russia. So once you start, uh, once mm, you start asking mm. niggas like Ukraine, 
and the Czech Republic and shit like that to join in on NATO violated the terms of the NATO agreement. Feel me? So once you violated the terms of the agreement, we could go to war now because Russia ain't, this ain't the first time Russia been taking shit from, from, from our Ukraine. They've been annexed land from Ukraine. And to annex yeah. something, to annex something means to take a part of a country by force. Yeah. yeah. Feel me? So they've been and taking parts of the country by usually, force. And it's usually a part of the country that's bordering the U.S. Yeah. And so. nobody said anything about it because it was perfectly fine. But now that we considering making y'all niggas a part of NATO, it's going to be a problem, which is the reason why America hasn't directly stepped into it. But if you yeah, got yeah. if you got beef with a nigga, yeah. yo, wait, but listen, if you got beef with a nigga, right? If you got beef with a nigga, and I'm giving you all the guns to go to war because you ain't got no guns, right? You don't think the nigga would have a problem with me? You ain't got no guns. Let's say the three of us, right? You going to war with him? He got all the guns. You have no guns, but I got all the shit that I know could beat him. And you come to me for it. You don't think this nigga gonna have a problem with me? And then when you when he asked me to give him some guns, I said, man, fuck out of here. I don't fuck with you, nigga. (laughs) Bitch ass nigga. You don't need it. You don't need it. Bitch ass nigga. But that's what I'm gonna say if he come ask me. But if you come (laughs) ask me, I'm gonna say, yo, 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 take these guns. Take these guns, but don't tell this nigga that I'm giving you these guns. You don't think I'm gonna have beef with you? That's fine. After you just told me, yo, we gonna be at peace. The reason why there was never a World War Three is because of the NATO agreement. Yeah. NATO is a conglomerate of countries, but it's also an agreement. That's why it's a conglomerate of countries. Yeah, the agreement gosh. was as long you can you can take in all these countries you and like. If I'm not, if I'm as not long mistaken, as they don't if I'm not mistaken, us. I think Ukraine is still still petitioning to be part of NATO. Yeah, yeah, and that's the reason why America that's won't right. accept them because as soon as we accept you, we uh, we have officially started it's World lit. War Three. Yeah. So we're hey, Russia is like that. Eh? But look. They but no, no. Like that. But it's deeper yeah. than that. You're like, what? As long <laughs> as we don't accept them, right? As long as we don't accept them before you do some wacky shit, then we officially broke the agreement. But if you attack but them and we respond, then the you fight? broke the agreement. That's why Putin mm-hmm. ain't let off the no bombs the, yet. Back in the day, you not you, you, US, you. the U.S. used to do this shit all the time. Back in the day, they the still way. do it. it ain't no back break, in the day. They used to break agreements all the time. Nah, you, like you said, they're not breaking that agreement right now. Yes, they are. Why not? Yo, bro, the Czech Republic is also on the border of Russia. So what's happening with that? Hold on. I thought the you Czech said... Republic is a part of the is a part of the NATO. If I'm selling you weapons, it's fine. You don't have no, to. No, that's that's Ukraine. Yeah. yeah. There's a there's a lot of countries that border that border. No, so Russia. what are they doing? They yeah. selling them weapons too? You're a part of NATO now. Yeah. There's, there's oh, seven yeah. countries that border Russia that's a, that has officially wow. been a part of NATO like for said, two years. Doing this. So Ukraine has been seeing that and was like, yo, yo what about us? I, we want parts. Yeah. But as soon as we, <laughs> yo, They're this like, is Ukraine. Nah, you see, you see my tray? You see how my tray split in two? Oh, this is Ukraine and this is Russia. They're like this. So Put a sound effect on that, please. So, you are, you got, <laughs> so you're officially a part of NATO. That means you are officially bordering my country. The Czech Republic, the only thing that separates the Czech Republic from Russia is Ukraine. So they're using Ukraine as a as a um as a as a technical. Yo, we don't border you because there's a country between us. The only way out of this for the Ukraine is to border is to become part of the Czech Republic. But then you're gonna be a part of NATO. Yeah. The only yeah. way for Ukraine to get up out of this is to go back to Russia. Yeah. Ukraine used to be a part of Russia. Yeah. I don't think wanna be part of NATO instead of Russia. When the USSR yes. broke up, you know how big if Russia they, is? Yeah, if they joined NATO, it's World War Three. So I know about that yeah. part. Yeah. So they broke Russia up because Russia was the biggest country on earth. Russia is still the biggest country on earth. Yeah. Russia is yeah. the only country that borders America as well as what's on the on the non West side of the world. Because we're the Western world. Russia's not on the Western world, but it is. Remember, mm-hmm. Russia is a part of Al- I mean, Alaska is a part of America. We bought yeah. Alaska from Russia. Yeah, yeah that's right. For me, right. you can yeah. get from Alaska yeah. to Russia. You can swim there. It only mm-hmm. take you an hour on a boat, but you can literally swim there. So you can swim from that's America great. to Russia. Russia is the only country that borders America as well as the rest of the world. Russia border. Russia is sitting right there above the European Union and all that yeah. shit. And Russia is bigger than. Russia's Russia's the biggest country those, on like earth. European companies that work. Russia's the Russia. biggest country on earth. It's black people in Russia, Chinese people in Russia, Asians in Russia. We, we do in... have to. We do have to say though. This claim. When you this see Russia on is, TV. They only show you Moscow. That a lot of that is in in uh, inhabitable land. Like no, it's not. That's true. It? What? No, it's not true. You're not talking. Uh, about, so, like, yeah, I don't all, think. I don't think the whole. I don't think. Yeah, 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 yeah,
What? The only part of Russia that's inhabitable uh, land is the part that connects to the South Pole. The top of the world, Antarctica. That's the only part because Russia as well connects to Antarctica. That's the only part of it that's in So you're inhabitable. saying it's like the, the wild parts of Siberia, all these very well known, yeah, uninhabitable man. land. <laughs> no, bro. You're saying I'm. Siberia I'm wrong about is that? a country. Hold on, so wait. No, I'm not no, talking about the whole that, Siberia. He's saying that a lot of Siberia Russia is, is not known for having a large wilderness. I understand what you're saying, but Siberia is its own country. That's not okay. Russia. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, wait, where are that? Probably used to be uh, part of the USSR. The, what Russia is now, right? There's people on every part of it. Every person, every you could pick yeah, any you know, part of the world, of right? Uh -huh. You're going to find people in Russia that look exactly like, like that. Gotta, gotta, everybody in Russia doesn't that. speak Russian. Yo, Russia, Russia doesn't, Russian, Russia doesn't have an official language. Russian is not Russia's official language. What it's, is the official language? They don't have one. So what uh what are Russian, the other languages? Yo, you're in, about? in the country of Russia, they speak over a hundred different languages. A hundred different languages. Because that's how many different people live within Russia. When you see Russia on TV, that's they, a lot. When you see Russia on TV, they What's only the show you Moscow. Language, What's the main language though? Russian. No, that's what the niggas in. How Moscow. is that not possible? What? How is that a no? Look, I'm going to tell you what? why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm gonna I was tell like, you what's why. the main language in Russia? Russian. And he's like, no. <laughs> because. What the fuck? What? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you it's why. Like Spanish. <laughs> but there's people Spanish. in Russia that speak Spanish. There's parts of oh, right. Russia That's that cool. speak people over only here Spanish. Speak Spanish. No, there's, no there's no language in Russia. There's no part of America that you can go. Okay. There's no state in America that you can go to and they only speak Spanish. Nah. There's parts of Russia. There's countries in Russia that you can go to. I mean, I said countries. There's parts of Russia that you can go be. to I think where they only speak certain languages. The top three is Mandarin. Yes. Mandarin, English, and Spanish. I didn't say that in order. I think Mandarin is still first, though. Yeah. Russia. In America? Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying in, in the Russia. world. In no, the I'm world. saying in the world. In the world. It's Mandarin, then it's... Yo, I think I, it's Spanish. That, and if then you go look it up, bro. If you go look it up... Yeah, that makes sense. Right when you, when you Google Russia... They show you Moscow. That's the capital of Russia. That's only one town. Okay, but what I'm saying is the main language of Russia. They don't Russia. have a main language. How is that possible? This country's on What Earth is the language that we... Language? All right, the language that we call Russian. Is what the fuck is that? one of the languages that? that they speak in. We call it Russian. What do they call it? I don't fucking... Ruski? What's, what's Ruski? I don't know. I speak Russian. That's, that's Russian for Russian. But I don't speak Russian. Yo, bro. So if... A, all right. Because I know Russian people. So if a Russian person nah, comes up to you and, to, say, and they go, and they go, Pavaruski, that means, do you, do you speak Russian? All right. So if they right, have so a look. word for Russian. All right. So look. And the language Listen, of Russian. Ask, ask your Russian friends what other languages do other they speak in Russian. I'm saying the and main language And then ask Russia them is what Russian. is the main language of Ru in Russia. Right? It gotta be Russian, bro. Why does it have to be Russian? Because it's the, it's the language mm. that's named after the Fact country. Fact check it, man. That's it. Google it. Yeah, we gotta Google this. Just fact check it, man. That's what I was supposed to have my computer set up on the side of me for. What's the right, copy. In Russia? Russian, let's go. Russian, Russian language. The Russian, Russian language is the principal state and culture. Language of Russian. Russian no, wait, is wait, wait, wait. Russian is the primary language of the majority of people in Russia. It is also used as I'm the really second saying, language mm -hmm. in in other former republics of the Soviet Union. It belongs to the eastern branch of the Salvic family of languages. That's what it says. All right. Now, so I was wrong about that part. Now let's see That's what languages right. are spoken <laughs> in Russia. I mean, admit that I'm wrong. That's what yeah. niggas don't be doing. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's... It's not a contest. Niggas don't like to, to be wrong. That's why. What languages are spoken in Russia? I'm looking at it. There's a lot. I'm sure there's some... Niggas speak Asians, Tatar. Asians niggas speak Chechen. Bashkar. Niggas speak like Ukrainian. Chavish. One, two, three. Five, six, With five, over four point... Two million native speakers. Tokar takes the crown as the second most common language in Russia. Tokar. Chechen. 1.3 million speakers. 26. Uh, 26 languages. Officially. Officially. And they got other languages that, that the, the natives of, your, of Russia that the smaller people speak. 
Russia's, Russia is what America wants to portray to be. So you know what happened, like you said. When it comes to it the different, different people. Countries as part of a oh, but he was right. It does say that there are over 100 minority languages spoken in Russia today. Everybody in Russia don't isn't white with, white with blue eyes. Nah, definitely. Yo, bro, it's niggas in Russia that Russian look exactly woman, like you. I know a Russian woman who's who looks very Asian, very Chinese. Because Asian, I don't know, you know people move there. Because you know, even deeper than that, Russia boy, Russia spans everything. They span across everything. <laughs> big landmass. Yeah. This shit goes from one side of the globe to the other side of well, the globe. I would like to know. <laughs> Blood clot. <laughs> <laughs> what percentage of Russia's landmass is habitable? Blood clot. They're going to tell you a large part of it, bro. They're going to tell you a large See? part of it. The short answer is about 35%. That's a little bit so habitable. Same. Habitable, yeah. That's a little bit. I don't believe that. What is that? What is that? Thirty five percent. It's habitable. It's habitable. I knew it was a lot of like wasteland out of there because it's like deserts and mountains and all type of weird shit. So I'm saying, I'm right again. <laughs> Let's keep doing this. <laughs> That's like. Here's the, here's the breakdown though. Cause you making it sound like like niggas only live in one part of the fucking country and niggas that thirty percent is spread out across the entire fucking country. That thirty percent is spread out across the entire fucking country. Everybody doesn't live in Moscow. Yeah, most of the east, but niggas are spread out across the entire fucking country. Niggas do not live in one part of Russia, bro. When you cross, when you cross Alaska, you're gonna get greeted by people. You ain't just going to be walking nowhere for a long time, but it will happen. That's just like if you if you start walking in Nevada, nigga, you're going to be lost. Yeah. Bare desert. The West Coast is all desert. Most of the people yeah. in America live on the East Coast, not the yeah. West. That and that's a fact. That middle part right there where it's real fucked up at, that's where, that's where it's cold at. And them niggas is well equipped for cold. That's why our niggas don't like the Cold War, which is, a, is what they call in the, the Russian-Ukraine war, the second Cold yeah, War. Yeah, nah, I, I can't really fuck with that weather out there. So we only got like 10 minutes? Yeah. Morning time? And time time? Oh, we got all right. All right, bet. We all right. We all good. Yo. Yo. I got a question for y'all. Yeah. Before we out? Before we... Oh, yeah, for the before outro. Out. I got a question yeah. for the outro. Um... Can Russians be racist? If we get if we get locked up, right? If, if you get locked up with somebody, right, for a crime, and the other person dies, is it still considered snitching if you say that the, uh, the person that died did it? Um, and is that fucked up? So, like, if we go shoot a nigga, right? If me and John go shoot a nigga, and John dies, right? Like, we both get locked up for the crime, but Throughout whatever, John dies. And then I say, yo, John did it. Am I snitching? And is that fucked up? Damn. It's going to get me off, though. All right. Like, if you could just say that, and it would definitely get you off. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. If I say, yo, John did it, they're going to put it on John. And because John is dead, I get off. That's cool. That's not snitching? It's still snitching. It's just like a different flavor. Like, I guess... I don't know because ah, uh, I mean, like, uh, uh, I, I was guess John, I'd be like, yeah, do that shit, my nigga. Like, I want you to get. But off. you know, you, you know, you. St- I mean, yeah, but I mean, you know, like, you staying his 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 legacy you, you, going you, out though. Not really, because if y'all you think, like you that, think John would be it, like, yo, it. tell on me if I die. Nah, nigga, cause it's not bad because think about it. Because if y'all like that, if y'all out there body and shit, like you know what I mean, like. Y'all known for that anyway, and it's kind of a plus. Like I uh, nigga John was a wild nigga. He, he went out. But you're telling the boys. You're huh? not telling the streets. You're telling the boys. You're talking to the police. But you're telling you're the judge. Right? You're, you're telling the judge, yo, John did it, your honor. I know. I my, shoot my shit. Answer, my answer is from John's perspective. But my answer is, do that shit, my nigga. I don't give a fuck, man. So if you was John, you'd want a nigga to tell on you. I want my nigga to get out of the prison. All right. What if you're not John? Then I'll be fucked up. <laughs> just like just like <laughs> now. I'll be like, you're damn. You'll be fucked up. You, 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 it'll be cool. I got to talk to his family. Mm. You got to talk to his family. <laughs> yeah, like that's, 
That's wacky, bro. It's like it's a it's a half and half situation, bro. Because you about people, to do an L, bro. It's not even like you're you about to do twenty five to life yeah. if you don't tell him that John did it. That's real. Oh, That's serious. True. Twenty five to life. I ain't gonna you lie, gonna be 20 bro. Twenty years in thinking like it's going. You gonna have a hood mixed you're up. Twenty eight. It's gonna people. It's gonna be people that's not gonna fuck with you behind that. I know. All right. It's gonna be people that's not gonna Think fuck about with you. you but if you go to jail years. and you hold down at twenty five, you feel me? You get out on parole. You can you use a real nigga. Yeah, niggas ain't gonna help you. What's <laughs> What's niggas ain't gonna help you. You was a real nigga. I'm not. You got your stamp in the book. You was a that's real a two, street that's nigga. That's a 25 piece. If a nigga holds you down for the whole 25, bro, that's really, really, really like, nigga, you owe that nigga your life. You better be ready to go back in for another 25 for that person, bro. It's like, John, he already dead, though. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying, like, yo, I don't know, bro. Like, me twenty years in in the in my prison bed, I'll be like, "This niggas, he did." Shouldn't worth it, because for real, that shit. Like you, he said year twenty. You probably been thinking that year three or some shit like that. If I, if I, I'm about to say it's gonna take you twenty years to think. Damn, yo, probably been thinking that year one, year two, year three. Like, damn, son. I've been like, here yo. 90 days, man. Is <laughs> <laughs> that for real, son? For real, son? Because yeah, I mean, that's something that's going to be weighing heavily no, on bro. your brain. As soon as they ask you, it's going to weigh heavily on your brain. You're going to be thinking about that. Imagine you in there with a nigga that kills some shit, right? They're like, yo, what you in here for? Yo, me and my man scored a body. And I ain't tell on him, but he died. I could almost guarantee you, nigga. I'm saying. What? <laughs> you ain't with me? You ain't told? <laughs> Yo. Yo. You know what's crazy? I never ran into to nobody that ever told me anything like that. <laughs> never, son. Never. I like, say. That's, who, that's, I ain't never run into nobody that ever said no shit like that to me. Yo, that's heavy, yo. I don't know. Yeah, oh, what would you heavy. do? What would I do? Yeah. Shit. I ain't know. I'm gonna contact yo, the family. Like, I, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna give y'all this much bread. Yo, how long I got to get back to y'all with a, with a response? Yeah. This is gonna be the first thing time. I ask these niggas. Yeah, you gonna have time. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> then, like you said, I'm gonna ask the family. Yo, they offer me. I what if they off. say no? What if the family say no? Yeah, what if what they if say no? Sanctioned? Now you're not sanctioned. <laughs> like, nah, we're not jacking it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have no asked longer, you. Were valid. What if they tell you no, right? No longer valid. No, I... <laughs> Shut down. If they tell Shut me no, down. right? I ain't gonna lie. Damn. 20 <laughs> years, and I could just say, yo, that nigga did it, and he ain't even alive. <laughs> you gonna do it anyway? That's snitching? <laughs> Are you gonna do it anyway? I don't know. Because <laughs> I live by a certain code, you feel me? I gotta, like, I gotta check with the niggas that made the rule book. <sighs> they ain't around, bro. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna holler at you, bro. All right, who got you the in that bitch book? by yourself? That's nigga. a fact. I'm in here by my dolly. Yo, I'm gonna ask. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's something, bro. No not, matter what. I'm the, not just yo, saying bro, it. I'm not just saying you're it. You're gonna gain and lose people. I'm thinking either about way it. you slice or dice that situation, bro. If you take the 25, you're gonna lose people yeah. and gain and keep people. If you if you if you don't do the 25. You, people gonna look at you funny, but it's gonna be people that still respect you. Like fuck it, they just happy you home type shit. The niggas wanna move on. You feel me, bro? You could you could not do the twenty five and not even fuck with the old, like you know, anything that's like associated with your old life. You could just be like, I'm fucking, I'm done with this shit. The choice is yours, and you free. And you are not free. You got no fucking choice. That's you gotta fact. be no, unfree for twenty five years. <laughs> If you die, possibly yeah. life. Look, look, we gotta check out. We gotta check look. out this. Oh word! If you die, right? And they offer me twenty five. Well, I could tell on you. I'm telling on you. Yeah, <laughs> yo. And if y'all niggas look at me crazy, right? <laughs> exactly what I'm gonna tell you. He gonna finish this off look. strong. Why you think a little dirt free? Wow. Ain't nobody got no problem with that. Smirky, yo, cool. Well, I can't be cool because I don't rap. I got music on Apple Music. Y'all yeah. niggas don't be listening to my shit. I rap, though. <laughs> I'm the cameraman, by the way. You feel me? I ain't going to tell on a nigga if he alive. 
Hope you tell all these niggas the house. But you're not going to jail. You're dead, bro. God rest your soul. You already you got the worst time there is to get. Yeah, right. You feel me? I got life to live. And I'm gonna look out for your family, even though they told yeah, me not to tell on you. To be Word. Like I said, I talked to the family like, yo, listen, I'll give yo, you. We out of time. Money. You out of time. You out of here, man. Jazz. Slaughter. Mozzie. You know what it is. Yo, thanks for having me. Of course. Yo. Always remember, when they tell you you can't say that, we can. That's why we here. Ha. Counting breach with trees my tools. I've been playing, yeah, I'm making moves. Big size, I pack, plus we drinking our zoo. Versace glasses like I'm sitting in school. Too cool, can't play me like a fool. Thought I was simping, little bitches, you drunk? I get money, little bitches, you drunk? Won't Superman when you doing bad? Did you really think that I would come? Cause I'm super Lydia and I was like, Bob,